Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be making some lotus leaf chicken sticky rice. The ingredients we're going to need today are 2 cups of glutinous rice, 1 teaspoon of kosher salt, 8 dried shiitake mushrooms, 4 dried lotus leaves, 2 teaspoons of soy sauce, 2 teaspoons of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of Shaoxing rice wine, half a teaspoon of sugar, 2 teaspoons of canola oil, 6 ounces of boneless chicken thighs, 4 ounces of shrimp, two Chinese sausages, and one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed in a half cup of cold water. So we're going to start off by briefly washing our rice and then adding a half teaspoon of salt. Then we'll cover the rice with enough cold water to cover the rice by half an inch. And then we'll let everything soak for about two hours. Here's a brief overview of all the things we'll be using today. As you can see here, here's our Chinese sausage, our dried lotus leaves, our shiitake mushrooms soaking in hot water, soy sauce, Shaoxing rice wine, oyster sauce, cornstarch, kosher salt, and sugar. So now we'll take our dried lotus leaves and we'll cut them in half down the middle, uh, essentially making eight quarter circles. The lotus leaves will now soak in warm water for about 30 minutes. So now it's been 30 minutes and the lotus leaves are done soaking. What I've done here is just cut the point off of the segments and also on the end we just trimmed it to get rid of all the jagged edges. So now let's make a sauce for our chicken rice. Over here we have two teaspoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of Shaoxing rice wine, and half a teaspoon of sugar that we've all just mixed until well blended. Now I've set up my bamboo steamer. What I've done now is drained our rice, put it into a pie tin along with two teaspoons of canola oil. We're just going to let this steam for about 25 minutes and then we'll be ready to put everything together. So now we're ready to cook our toppings. Over here we have our chicken thighs that we finely diced. Then behind that we have our shrimp that we cleaned, peeled, deveined, and cut into half inch chunks. Behind that we have our soy sauce and oyster sauce mixture. Uh, we also cut our two Chinese sausages into quarter inch coins. And also our shiitake mushrooms. We've drained, squeezed out all the water, and finely diced. And lastly, we have our cornstarch slurry that's made with our uh, tablespoon of cornstarch and a half cup of water. Just remember to use cold water because if you use hot water, everything is going to turn to clumps. Now it's time to stir fry everything. I just have some canola oil that's been heated up on our skillet. Uh, first, we're starting off with our chicken. We'll stir fry that for about two minutes. Then we'll add our shrimp, stir fry that for about one minute. Then after that, we'll add our Chinese sausage and shiitake mushrooms, stir fry that for about another two minutes. Then we'll add our soy sauce, oyster sauce mixture. That'll go on for about one minute. And then finally, we'll add the cornstarch slurry and we'll just stir fry that just until the sauce gets nice and thick. And then we'll take it off heat and put it into a bowl. Our rice is now done. It's time to pull it out of the steamer. Uh, as you can tell, it's very, very hot. So I have to be extra careful in removing this. It took me a couple attempts to actually remove the rice. Now it's time to assemble everything. As you can see, I've divided my rice into eight portions. I'm taking one half of one portion, and we'll lay it out onto our lotus leaf, and we'll just flatten it out into a nice little rectangle here. After that, we will give our toppings a nice little mix, and I'll put a large spoonful of our topping on top of the rice. And now we'll take the second half of our portion of rice and place it on top of the toppings. Now it's time to fold up our lotus leaf. 
Start off by rolling up the bottom side, the right side, the left side, and then put the top side over everything. And then it's just time to place it in the steamer. It is now time to put the lid on our steamer. We'll let this cook for about 15 minutes. After that, we'll take it off and then we'll be ready to eat. Yep. Oh, that's so hot. Hold on. You ready? Yeah. All right, they're all done. We'll bust one open here in just a few minutes. The steam coming off and everything. Look at that. And there we go. Good. Very good.